What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out Jaspie's 21 box out of the park baseball mixer, random teams number one. And as it says, it is loaded. It is a three wax party spot giveaway, but it is loaded with potential big hits in here, guys. Now, again, everything will be shipping minus the paper base from Bowman. Of course, Ellie will ship. Everything else won't, unfortunately. But uh, that's just for paper. Now, this is a loaded mixer with huge potential, guys. All of these boxes are coming from fresh cases. And I just want to make it specific for Logo Fractor. It did come from a fresh case, but we opened it up earlier because we are selling personal boxes in the store for them. There's like 40 box cases, so... I have the 10 that I pulled out from the case over here, but everything else is still sealed right here to my uh, right, which will open up and we'll choose some boxes there. It's 10 boxes of the Logo Fractor, 2 boxes of Dynasty, 2 boxes of Bowman Jumbo HTA, um, 3 boxes of Hip Parade One of a Kind Edition, which is one of ones, 2 boxes of Topps Pristine, and then 2 boxes of Immaculate 2021. Now, we did sell a lot of these spots straight up from Tristan. Down to uh, Brian T, who got in last spot mojo. And then everybody else from Mark, down to Adam, won those from three pack fillers. Mosaic 36, 37, and 38. So congratulations to those guys. Now, the same list, of course, will be used for the uh, giveaway for the Wax Party, guys, which we'll be doing after. And I already have them ready to roll right there. So, let's do the randomizer, and let's see what you guys match up with first, guys. Roll it. It is a six and a three. Nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine times. Six, three, nine. James O down to Tim. Nine. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. White Sox down to the Brewers. All right, so James, you have the White Sox. Jesse with the Tigers. Adam with the Rockies. Tristan with the Cincinnati Reds. He literally just said, I need the randomizer to look out for me, too. Well, have a chance at some Ellie's. Joe with the Dodgers. James with the Twins. Alan with the Braves. Te uh, Tristan with the Texas Rangers from your pack filler spot. Uh, John with the Padres. Steve with the Astros. Jay going with the A's. Charles with the Mariners. Uh, Tristan with the Red Sox. Brian with the Marlins. Chad with the Angeles. Some Hotani Trout, maybe. Scott with the Yankees. Andrew, you have the Nationals. Brian K with the Blue Jays. James with the Giants. Scott with the Guardians. Richard with the Cardinals. Andrew with the Diamondbacks. Mark with the Cubs, as well as the Pirates. Adam with the Mets. Brian Tippett with the Royals. Joseph with the Phillies. Jeremy Parr with the Rays. Andrew with the Orioles. And then Tim with the Brewers. Now, I'll leave the trade window open for a good time, just because obviously it's a big mixer. I'm sure people are going to want to trade. But, uh... If there's any proposed trades and it doesn't go through, let me know. In the meantime, though, I'm actually going to open up this this uh, this camera angle. Where's the other camera at? Actually, I don't have one here. I thought I did. Um, I'm going to start opening up some of these cases, though. So it was two Dynasty boxes. So you guys can see me in my little window here. I'm going to open up the case. You can see taking out the paper. Five boxes right here. I'm gonna lay them out right here. I'm gonna open up the immaculate. Hey, 
And remember, guys, obviously this has a mix of a couple years, too. I think in MAGA, it's 2021. Obviously, there's some 2022 in here, mostly, but... Obviously, everything changes when it comes to Bowman with prospecting and stuff like that. Yeah, Chad, I don't know why you put the Angels up there for. <laughs> I don't think you would have traded them unless, like, Charles wanted to trade the Mariners. That's all I'm going to open up for now. Just got to have enough room. All right, anybody else want to make a trade? I'll give it another minute, guys. I'm going to go grab a cup of water, and when I come back, if I don't see anybody proposed and accepted, then I'm going to close it. Alrighty. Am I closing it then? Uh, Marlins Angels plus honor. No, no, no. Cool, cool. No. I know. That's true. Tristan, you want the Royals or Marlins? If not, let's close it. Peace Snips asking. Alright, close it. Cool. Alrighty, guys. So, I opened up a couple cases. And uh, I believe, like I said, Dynasty is two boxes. Um, Immaculate is two boxes, and Hip Parade One of a Kind is three boxes. Alright, so, let's do this. Let's use a true random number generator. And the first one I have is five options, of course, for Dynasty. Alright, one, two, three, four, five. Let's choose two numbers, okay? First one. Three. Pull out three, boom, and one. Top box. All right, so these three boxes, I'm taking them out. I'm going to put them back over here. And they're either going to be used for a future mixer, sold in the store, giveaway, or personal. I don't know. So these two boxes are staying here. Now, Immaculate's in the same boat. Immaculate. It's two boxes. There is a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight boxes. So let's change the max entry there. Let's choose two. One. So we're going to grab the top, 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 top box up there. Two. 
And seven. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so I'm going to put these to the side, and again, same thing. I'm going to pull out these boxes, get them out of the way. And last one is the one of a kind. That one has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten boxes as well, just to show you guys. And that one we have to generate three boxes. So let's go one through ten, and let's generate three. Eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And last one here. Four. One, two, three, four. All right, cool. So these boxes are staying here. These ones here will be used again for something else. All right, almost through, guys. Almost done with this. Now, the next one we're going to pull out is going to be... Let's do HTA Jumbo. So, that one we have to pull out two boxes. And then, obviously, guys, once we open up all this, we create another similar mix with these boxes. They're just going to be picked out randomly. So, we won't have to waste too much time doing this again. crazy to see that Ellie's already in the MLB and he was only in 2022 Bowman, right? Alright, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we're going to choose two boxes. Eight. Bottom box. Be right there. And last one here, one, should be top box up here. Boom, that was easy. All right, and the last product, Pristine. Eight boxes here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just to show you guys. Awesome O. And we're gonna pull out two boxes of pristine. First one, three, one, two, three. So this is the box we're gonna use. I'm gonna put that right over here. And then, last one, five, four, five. Top box up here, boom. Awesome, guys.
Thank you. All right, I'll bring the logo fractor boxes right now, too. So all the boxes there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Perfect. All right, I'm gonna do the logo fractor boxes first. We'll get those out of the way. Well, much easier to set up when they're not all fresh cases. So, if we run back a similar mixer, then it'd be easier to pull them out. Alrighty, guys, here we go. Finally, right? Jesus. It's like 15 minutes prepping all this. So we're going to go with one, two, three, four, five, ten logo fractor boxes. Actually, let's keep all the logo fractor packs together. On that side. Y'all under two homers tonight? Man, just improving his trade stock for you guys, Rex.
Well, they could, Chad, but I think the what you want is the Lobo Fracture Packs. It's kind of like a, when you buy Mega Boxes, you know? Most likely no, but you're looking for the, the, the hits in the Mega Boxes packs. But I'm not going to say no for sure because there still could be like colors or something in there. I don't know. I don't want to say they're not going to be nothing. Yeah, well, probably, but just to be safe, you know. So that's why I figured I'll just separate the packs and then pull out whatever the level fracture packs have. Speaking of ducks, see what Sabrina Inescu did today at the All-Star Game? I think she had like the best three-point competition like for any athlete ever. She legit only missed two shots in the three-point competition. She made 25 of 27. Ridiculous. Did you see the episode though with Marcus Mariota? I think it was the second one after all. On quarterback? He's like, Ugh. like it's so funny because like Mariota is like, uh, it's so funny because like, you don't really ever see Mario because Mariota show that much emotion, but like, and hate towards something, but he's just like, all the purple, Ugh. <laughs> it's so funny. You didn't know Sabrina Inescu was an Oregon Duck? Even living under a rock, Chad? Tristan says, I finally got Redemption fulfilled for the top sign of J-Rod Auto. Checking it out. It's a small scratch and I wanted to get traded. Yeah, you can, you can, get a, you can file the claim. Well, I think it's more you hate to know that he's a duck. You know? I think that's what it really is. <laughs> I'm the same way too with like teams I hate especially if they go to a team I really hate too but like I said man the one Washington Husky that I always love is because I love that dude 
with Jake Locker. He's one of my favorite Huskies. Yeah, that second episode of Quarterback, they go into a little bit more Mark Smart in the background and like, you know, it's kind of cool for him, you know, he, when he went to play against Seattle last year because a lot of the locals, right, for uh, Northwest, right, you know, showed up for him. All the Polynesian, like, fans, you know, Hawaiian, Hawaiian fans showed up there with flags, so he said they kind of loved it, felt like a little homecoming. Since he doesn't really rarely get to go back up there, you know. I thought that was kind of cool. So let's go with all this stuff here and then we'll go with the logo fracture stuff. So yeah, should just be mainly based with rookies. I don't even think silvers or colors, but still gotta go through it, you know? Yeah, I, I wish so too, man. Because, you know, obviously, he probably one of the better Oregon Ducks, like, ever. Right? Winning Eisman. For me, at least, you know. I just feel like I always kind of try to back him up a little bit. I mean, look, I guess when you're good, you're good, right? But, I don't know. I don't think he went into the best situation with the Titans either. But, that, I mean, that's not really a huge excuse. Because, obviously, a lot of people don't go into a good situation. But, I just remember he had so many offensive coordinators, like, every single year. Coaches, right? I mean... He ended up having a little bit of success, right? Went to the playoffs. You know, had that game where he caught his own touchdown pass and stuff like that. But I think when Mike Rabel came in and that coaching staff, I think it just didn't fit Mariota's, like, skill set, you know? They never adapted to his skill set, really. Um, and Tannehill fit perfect for them, right? I mean, they were just going to be a down-the-hill play-action type of team, which, which I would do too, right, when you have Derrick Henry when you have uh, when you have Derrick Henry as your running back, right? So, sucks it didn't work out, but you know he's still around, and I'm actually really happy he's an Eagle now because I think he fits perfectly in this offense if he had to come in for a few games. You know, I'm not saying that he's gonna lead us to a Super Bowl victory if like you know Jalen Hurts uh, Jalen Hurts like goes down, right? But I think he's a solid quality backup for this offense, though. I think this offense will fit him perfect. Now, I hope he sees the field, but more of a blowout. Not because, you know, Jalen Hurts got injured. But, yeah, you know, I'm just happy that now he's kind of at peace. That he recently became a dad, so everything changes for him, you know. His skill set was run over the Well, yeah, they were talking that in that episode, too. They were talking about how successful he was in 2013. He accounted for, like, 455 yards of total offense. Had, like, 350 passing, 100-plus rushing, four TDs. You know. But that was around the time when the Oregon Ducks obviously were just killing the Huskies. And I feel like after Mariota, it was really dark times. Because then there was one time where you guys just murdered us. Right? Like, big time. And then Herbert came back, and he had a little success. Oh, more money than we all probably will ever make in this chat, probably. <laughs> I mean, unless you're like a millionaire. 
then it adds up. All right, guys, here we go. Logo fracture time. You know what's funny about Jake Browning? I never liked the way he threw the ball. Didn't it seem like his mechanic was a little off? I mean, it's still out of cannon, though. But. It's so crazy. I just felt like once I seen Justin Herbert, um, once Justin Herbert, like, started shining at Oregon, I just had a feeling that he would do really well in the NFL. And obviously he hasn't, like, super killed it, but, like, he just had the perfect, like, body type, dude. He was, like, 6'5", right? 220, 230, rocket of a freaking arm, is mobile. Smart kid, too, right? I mean, I think he graduated a really big degree. And, you know, so far, I mean, obviously, I don't think he's been really the problem for the Chargers, but, you know, I'm happy he's worked out so far. And it's crazy because he was like a local kid out of Eugene. He wasn't really highly recruited. Jake Brown was the first West Westerbeski. I took you guys to a championship or uh, to a playoff seed. Alright, here we go. Are they just tripping because they thought they hit something crazy or they did? Blue Jays out of 25, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. And then we got a Mookie. Out of 199. Tatis. I know. I, I actually love Calvin Ridley, man. I I almost thought he was going to come to the Eagles. And actually, he, the Eagles did trade for him. But they had to avoid the trade at the time and just say, sorry, we can't trade him anymore. But they couldn't say why. And then a few months later, Adoles Garcia, we found out that he was gambling. I think the Eagles had traded like a second round pick for him. Eloy Jimenez. Jimenez 250. And look at that, Jordan Alvarez Orange. A little color match and all for the Astros. 4 out of 25. Beautiful. Astros is Steve Herrick. That's a sick one right there. Jose Abreu. Del Bruhan, Ozzy Albies at a 150. Little Shohei Otani. O'Neill Cruz to 25. How about that? No problem, Steve. Thank you, buddy. Hopefully, a lot more, man. Pittsburgh Pirates, Mark Russo. That's a nice O'Neill Cruz. DJ LeMay for the Yankees to 250. This logo fracture stuff is nice, guys. Blackman. Out of 199. Soto. Washington Nationals edition. Andrew with that one to 150. And another autograph. How about a color match? Matt Olson. Oakland Athletics. 36 out of 99. A little green. Jay with that one. Lubov. I don't want Mike Trout. Nice O'Neill Cruz. Out of 150. Another one there for the Pirates. Let's go to Mark. We got a blue and an orange. Chris Bryant.
Brian De La Cruz. Which I believe that's Ellie's older brother, right? Trey Turner for the Dodgers. Joe with that one. And we have Wander Franco there for TV. Jeremy Poor with that one. And Lars Nutbar autograph. Logo Fractor. St. Louis Cardinals, Richard Johansson. Nice, this Logo Fractor actually had a couple autos. That's nice. Rodolfo Castro. Reed Detmers. Yeah, he had a no hitter last year, didn't he? Out of 150. Eli Morgan for the uh, Cleveland Guardians, purple. Edward Cabrera to 150. And Jose Siri for the Houston Astros, pink, 189. Nice, a lot of color, guys. A lot, a lot of color. So we managed to get all this color. And then we got a couple autos here. A couple nice numbered ones. And then Jordan was a sweet one. All right, awesome. Um, actually, yeah, let me go. Let me get a monster. Let me get a shoebox really quick, guys. One second. Alright, we're gonna go to Bowman Jumbo, guys. Go Ellie de la Cruz hunting. Of course, though, let's throw other prospects we can hit out of here. But Ellie has been the main guy now. Let's actually rip the second box too and get that one out of the way as well. These boxes and pristine I think might take a little longer too. 
But after that, Immaculate's pretty quick. Obviously, the last five boxes will be pretty quick, so it'll just be one card breaks, but... We're basically kind of going through the more heavier stuff now. All right, here we go, guys. Then we got Darren Baker, the two ninety nine for the Washington Nationals. Go to Andrew. Kevin Alcantara. We got uh, Adrian Sugasty. James Wood. And then Christian Roa. A little bit of a teaser because that is uh, Cincinnati. Going to Tristan. Another red. Alejo Lopez to 299. There's an LE base. I I was seeing that a base LE PSA 10 is about like 200 bucks. I think. So I think anything LE right now is just massive. So there's that LE De La Cruz.
Brennan Davis for two fifty. And Wilman Kalandari for the Royals. All right, here we go. Next box. And then we have a Vibrations, Blaze Jordan to 30. Boston Red Sox, let's go to Tristan. Benny Montgomery to 250. Nico Covadas for the Red Sox. Another one there for Tristan. Luis Gill to 99. Yankees. With Maryfield at 399. Wow. Last stack here should have at least one more auto. paper Oh my god I, I almost sorry <laughs> I thought that was Ellie for a second there Jesus Christ, the major teasers in those damn boxes. Michael Triana. You know how massive that would have been? You got darn close though, Tristan. Jesus. <laughs> I had a, I had like a mini one right now, man. Jesus Christ, that was really close. I mean, he still got a base and a paper though, but man, that was that was something else. 
computer about onto this. All right, well, the show goes on, guys. All right, let's go to Pristine now. So, again, Pristine is that one that everybody was just like, what? It's like a pack within a pack within a pack. <laughs> Something like that. I guess you guys will see it right now. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, man. Hope all is well now, though, man. Man, it was a wild one. It's like you think it's done, and but no, there's another pack. I just remember this like literally added like another like 30 minutes, like to a break, legit, just because you have to like do all this, and this is just one box, you know, and the packs just get stuck to each other. And it's a nightmare. <laughs> it's a nightmare. Here we go guys, so this is just all the base cards basically.
<laughs> What's up, John? I know, for us. Alright, uh, looks like we have a redemption right here. Let's save that. Manu Rivera. Out of 99. Nice Wander Franco. That's a purple number to 99. Nice one there for the Rays, Jeremy Port. Check it out. Slice of a Star Auto Relic Pristine Parallel. Nelson Cruz for the Tampa Bay Rays. Tampa Bay Rays, Jeremy Port. Nice little pack right there, buddy. All right, we got Chipper Jones. Pristine and unnumbered. Little Jake Berger, rookie autograph there, number to 50. Jose Siri, that is number to 15 for the Houston Astros. Randy Rosarena, and Shane Baz autograph for the Rays to 99. That's a Rays box right here, man. And then Pete Alonso Gold, go 33 out of 50. Awesome. All right, let's do it one more time, guys. <laughs> And then we'll end off with some of the nicer stuff as well. You know, the person that created this and the fact that it let it pass in quality control, like, they were both high on something, right?
So it should just be base card trick, guys. Autograph, Colorado Rockies. Uh, Colorado Rockies. That is Adam. <laughs> hey, right, Jimmy. <laughs> hold my beer. <laughs> Some guys just like hold my beer. Joe Musgrove. Cody Bellinger. The twenty-five. We got a gold Brian Reynolds. All right, here we go, guys. Two more autos in the air. First one is a David Wright. Popular demand for the Mets. Mets, that is going to Adam. Videl Brujan autograph. Rookie there for the Rays. Rays had a good break in this. Jeremy Port. Taylor McGill to 75 for the New York Mets. Another one for Adam. And then Jose Ramirez to 50 for the Cleveland Guardians. That's going to Scott. And Tailscar Hernandez. And a Carson Kelly. All right. Two immaculate boxes, and then we're going to end it off with three boxes of one and ones, or one uh, one and ones, hit parade, and uh, dynasty. Potter, Harry Potter. Now again, this is 2021, so a different draft class, okay? Andre Zeminis to 49 for Cleveland. Cool. And how about a one of one Steven Strasburg? Look at that, beautiful patches. Nice one there for the Washington Nationals and Andrew. Let's see where that patch is from. It's a sick one right there. Oh, Tristan, that was that gave me a heart attack mini one, man. But you still got an Ellie, like I was saying. I think the base PSA tens are like two hundred plus, so still got that in the paper. Spencer Howard rookie patch autographs jersey number, which let's see what that could be out of. And I don't remember Spencer Howard. Spencer Howard is a Philly, it says, Chad. Maybe now he's a Marlin, I don't know. But Philly at the time in 2021. And uh, his is jersey number, so I don't even know what jersey number it would be. But card number 112, yep. Philadelphia Phillies. Next one we have is a little three of six Brent Rooker for the Minnesota Twins. Minnesota, gonna James O. 
We got a Dane Dunning. Six of ten. Texas Rangers. Going to Tristan. And then we have an RPA. Yeah, Nick Madrigal. Chicago White Sox edition. White Sox going to James O. All right, last box here, and then we're going to go with the fun, fun stuff. One card boxes. All right, we have a jumbo of Keegan Aiken for Baltimore. And that's a printing play one-on-one -on -one patch of Johnny Bench in the Cincinnati Reds. Nice. Piece of the jersey. There you go, Tristan. And Baltimore is Andrew. We have a Jonathan Hernandez, Immaculate Patch Autographs for Texas, piece of the jacket it says. We have a Quang Young Kim for St. Louis, little eye black patch autographs to 99, or 69 I should say, 2 of 69. St. Louis, Richard Johansson. And then... Perini plate quad patch autograph of Jose Abreu for the Chicago White Sox. Nice one there for James. Solid hit right there, man. Two one ones in this box. And then last one here is a Christian Javier for Houston. Astro Steve Herrick. All right, guys, down to the last few boxes here, guys. So we're going to go with the one-on-one, one-of-a-kind edition hit parade, and then we're going to end it off with Dynasty. Looks like a raw card. One of one, Juan Soto and Ronald Acuna Jr. And that is between the Braves, which is Alan Murdoch, and Juan Soto Nationals, which is Andrew. How about that? National League stars, one of one. I don't think I've ever had a randomized one of one in this. All right. Someone's going to sweat a little bit. We got a Byron Buxton, one of one from Inception. Minnesota Twins. James, there you go, Minnesota Twins. There you go, man. And remember, guys, that one of one does have some pretty massive hits, so obviously, you know, if we don't get anything super, super crazy one of one wise here, obviously, there's some still nicer boxes probably for future mixers and stuff. But everything will be a one on one. New York Mets, 
And it is Pedro Martinez. Dual bat relic and autograph. One of one. And this was from back in uh, 2005 Donner's Playoff. Playoff. Mets. Going to Adam. There you go. All right. So one randomizer to do at the end, guys. All right, guys. Two more boxes. Two more boxes. Yeah. <laughs> Double bat rally. <laughs> Marlins patch? No, it's Bobby Witt Jr. RPA 7 out of 10. Is that like an all-star patch? That definitely looks like Marlins. Unless they have a throwback jersey maybe? Beautiful hit right there, Bobby Witt Jr. Kansas City Royals, Brian Tibbet, last spot mojo. And I don't think I call the Royals much at all, if anything. Last one here, folks. Good luck. Camo patch. Fernando Tatis Jr. 8 out of 10 for the Padres. John R. There you go. Nice. Two good names right there. Very, very nice. And there you go, guys. I know that was a pretty long mixer. A little bit over an hour, but still ended up getting some nice stuff, guys. Obviously, there were some teams that didn't get much, if not anything, but uh, it's the way it goes sometimes, unfortunately. But we still have three wax parties, guys. Three wax parties. Yeah, Chad, I was hoping more angels for you. But it's the way it goes. But it's still have three wax parties, guys. Ah, I know. Brian says, I see. Should have traded. <laughs> yeah, now we could. Now he says that, but. All right, so we're going to do this randomizer as well. And then there's everybody there. I'll use the same dice roller, too. We'll do the randomizer first for the uh, Acuna Soto. So it would be Braves and Nationals. Six and a two, eight times. Six and a two, eight times. We're going to do the randomizer for the dual one and one first. And then uh, we'll do the randomizer for the wax party. Six and a two, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Goes to the Braves after eight times. Six and a two. Braves win that one. Alan Murdoch. There you go, man. This year. Yeah, look at that John Jackson mojo, right? <laughs> Alright, eight times here now, guys. Top three get spots in the wax party. Six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. eight times, eight, eight. Oh, just missing out with Andrew. All right, from Andrew down to Tristan, not in, guys, unfortunately, but let's see who's in. Andrew, first one out, first one in. Congratulations, you're in the wax party. Alan Murdoch, you are also in the wax party. What is this, all the A's or what? And John. Very nice. 
There you go, top three. So there you go, folks. And again, guys, obviously, like I said, not too many wax party breaks still need to be posted. Everything else here is on the website. So, like I said, we're getting closer and closer, guys. Appreciate it. Jaspiescasebreaks.com.